Basilio, uh, Edgewell Personal Care. Uh, currently, my role is in sales operation. One of my goals is to be able to deliver uh, critical elements of our customer plans to our sales teams to make sure that we execute what our parameters are associated with our products throughout the year. To stay relevant as a company and to have a presence where there are some big competitors that we, we are dealing with. Uh, we're dealing with Procter & Gamble, we're dealing with uh, Johnson & Johnson, uh, companies like Merck, where their resources are far more greater than we have. So we have to be able to think a little bit differently, and one way is using uh, outside insights because we can get a closer connection as to what's going on and uh, share that with our, with our retailers. We identify competitive products, key retailers, corporate news, information regarding new products, and information regarding activities, promotional activities on a day-to-day -day basis. So we try to look at it from a, from a long-term and short-term um, point of view with our products to see how the products are being reacted to in the field and at the same time how the competitors are being uh, viewed. We try to break it out to in, into uh, bite-sized pieces of information so you're not trying to look at a laundry list of 30 different articles and trying to decipher which one do I look at. E-commerce, it's really rocking the world of brick and mortar um, and has an impact on the manufacturers too and how we do business. So it's, it's a great learning experience to understand how do we better work with the Amazons and how do we promote ourselves in the, in the dot-com world to to combat that and be successful at the same time. In the areas of our feminine products, just the conversation of feminine hygiene is much more frank. Um, going back you know, even 10 years ago, which isn't very far, um, it was taboo to talk about these things. Now it's like, it's amazing what, what is discussed. Um, something on BuzzFeed that reaches 30 million plus and they're talking about things that are quite very frank and which is changing the lay, the lay of the land and how we promote products and how we convey to others the message of, of our product. And it's important to the female population in that case with feminine hygiene that the conversation has to be you know, frank and to the point. And uh, not just our organization, but any organization that deals with that consumer has to cater to that and make sure that they reach them with their goods and services to be successful. We just try to encourage maybe the opportunity for a retailer to respond to that saying, it's an opportunity to sell more product. You know, if you can better connect with that consumer and that's their thoughts at that point in time, why not try to incorporate that? Information is a resource. It's been around forever. It's, you know, I think it's been evolving as we've been going forward but to leverage it in the organization and take that and make that a component of how we do business. I think the important thing is to determine where we are and how the consumer and how the general population views us, views our products, views the competitors' products, views the organization. The impact of real data provides us the opportunity to respond in a timely manner to make sure that we can address these situations to either better our product, to better our situation with our retailers, or to better our situation within as a corporate uh, entity. We want to be able to kind of centralize the source of information. Sometimes I talk about single point of truth. It's centralized information that really flows through the organization, giving everyone the opportunity to see that same information and be able to react to it in his or her way within the organization. It's looking externally at the world and what we can take and process internally. So it really can be some really true dynamic dialogue based on this content. And again, a greater exposure to that single point of truth, but now more on a global level. You really gotta know your audience. Uh, it provides a wonderful opportunity to understand the business world in which Edgewell lives in.